NASA research scientist Chris McKay. Right, right. The fundamental problem in warming Mars is trapping the sunlight. And we can do that by enhancing the greenhouse effect. We can do it by bringing more sunlight to Mars, for example, by using reflectors of some sort, something like, well, maybe like this burrito wrapper, where you imagine a giant foil around Mars reflecting sunlight down to the surface. Ah, but without the egg, of course, Yeah, right? without the egg, but <laughs> reflecting sunlight on the polar regions of Mars. Imagine this is Mars. The polar regions are the key because that's where the carbon dioxide is. Mm -hmm. So energy on the polar regions is going to be the most efficient in terms of warming Mars up. Now, here's the killer question. How long will it take to heat up Mars? From start to a thick, warm atmosphere with water, rain, and everything could be as short as 100 years. And the good news is, the material I need to make these mirrors already exists. Mylar. The same stuff that NASA is using for their solar sail propulsion system. Mylar is 10 times thinner than a human hair and highly efficient at reflecting sunlight. Just what I need to build an orbital mirror. There's only one problem. It'll have to be enormous. Imagine a mirror the size of Texas. These are gigantic structures. They're going to have to be built in space using materials that are already in space. So what you might imagine is some machine that go captures a metal-rich asteroid, pulverizes it, melts it, creates a molten metal, which it then sprays on some sort of structure to create a thin film of metal. It's all going to have to be done in orbit because of the sheer size of the mirrors involved. You know, the best ideas are always the simplest and the most elegant. I think Chris has really got something here. I love the idea of using sunlight to terraform Mars. His solution is economical and efficient. <laughs>